81 million. 81 million and one. 81 million and two. 81 million and three. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, uh, how's it going? Today, Red Guru here. I want to talk about being strong. Strength. Strength is not just physical. It is also mental. Physical strength is great. Don't get me wrong. It is really good to be really physically strong. But probably one of the most valuable skills in the world is how to be mentally strong. If you're not mentally strong, you're, you're going to crack. It doesn't matter how strong you are. If you're not mentally strong and someone picks on you, you're, you're just going to fail. You're not going to be strong. You're, you're going to you might even cry. And you don't want to cry. Okay? It's one thing in this world. You don't want to cry when you're under pressure. Okay? That means you are not mentally strong. Mental strength can literally take you anywhere if you are mentally strong. You can literally do whatever you want to do because you control this. You control your mind. Mental strength comes from great focus, okay? There's a few ways you can gain great focus. One is actually working out. Working out mentally, like, is great mentally. A lot of people think that when they go to work out that it's just about picking the weights up and putting them down. No, you're focusing the whole time. You, you have to focus on, on squeezing the muscle at the top. You have to focus on stretching the muscle at the bottom. You like a lot of times you don't even realize like that your muscles there. Like you have to focus on the muscle as you're working out. Like you can't just go like this. If you go like this, you're not going to gain any strength. You, so your brain gains so much knowledge and so much focus because you're focusing on the muscle you want to hit. If you're doing tricep pull downs, you're focusing on the triceps. You like, it's a great mental exercise. Um, also, you learn how to push through the hard times. When you're starting to fail and you want that one less rep, you can, you can literally, when you do it a few times, focus and get your mind to push up that last rep even though you feel like you can't do it. It's, it's amazing. That's one way to get mentally strong. Another way to get mentally strong is meditation and you'll notice that in lots of my videos i'm going to talk about meditation because meditation is other than working out like the single most greatest thing you can do for your brain you basically you pick an anchor okay so your breath or you can you can focus on like my previous video you can focus on on uh just letting yourself be as you are which is, it takes a lot of like a lot of effort in a way like just to allow yourself to like because you you might not feel secure so allowing yourself to be as you are like is a scary thing and it, it can bring mental focus being yourself is is requires such mental strength to to just be yourself in all situations is to allow yourself to be who you are to accept yourself is such a mentally strong thing and meditation can even uh, do nothing meditation like I said in my previous video can cause this to happen so basically what you want to do is have an anchor uh, your breath you uh, do nothing anything and every time something strenuous happens or you you feel attacked just focus on this anchor so say you're just walking along and somebody decides to scream in your face, telling you you're an idiot or whatever. Literally just focus on your breath. Just focus on the breath, focus on the breath and allow your body to handle the situation, okay? It's your first reaction might be to go fight that person or go scream at that person, but that's, it's not gonna work. It's like that is the only, that's how to, like you're mentally weak if you go to fight that person, okay? You're, you might be physically strong, but you're mentally weak because fighting just causes more problems. If you add negativity to an already negative situation, how does that fix it? It doesn't. Two negatives don't create, like, all right, in, in multiplying, two negatives create a positive. But two negatives don't create a positive. It just creates more negative when in that kind of situation. So what you want to do is find an anchor and always focus on it. Gain great focus. The higher your focus, the more mentally strong you are. If your brain is all over the place, if you, which is like a really hard thing for most people, especially nowadays with so much stimulus in, in our life, if, you're, if your brain is focused on this girl and, and, and then 
what this person said and then the your phone and all this stuff if you get notifications you're 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 not going to be mentally strong like you're not going to know to like you're not going to be able to control yourself when when a negative situation happens so you need this focus and you need that anchor gain an anchor find an anchor it can be anything you could think of your breath or you could think of a, a mantra so like every time someone attacks you you could just say like strength 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 and this will relax you and calm you down basically you want to find something that calms you down and anchor brings you to a level place okay so if you're focused on your breath you just maybe take one breath or maybe just two breaths before you react it whatever calms you down that is your anchor okay for me i usually just when something happens, I just relax and like allow my body to take it and just that relaxes me. Just just allow everything to flow. I like I, I focus on the flow on on a certain feeling in my body that I get when I feel like I'm in flow. That's what I do every time. Uh, there's many times where where I'm physically stressed, but I have to focus on this thing or like I'm gonna I'm gonna shut down. Like I'm not gonna without this anchor like i'd freak out like you you have to find your anchor like if you have anxiety depression or depression i don't know but if you have anxiety you need to have an anchor and anchor is key even depression even depression like if you start thinking negative thoughts you can have an anchor that brings you back that brings you back to the positive so you might maybe like if you're depressed you might have an anchor that you think of a memory of you and your child uh, and you 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 really notice like all the details and how happy it was or maybe like a joke that you told at a certain party you just you you focus on that and then when you get that feeling of calm or that relaxation that's when you know that your anchor worked so you just keep doing just focus on your anchor until you get that calm and relaxation and at first it's hard like at first like you, you could have an anchor all you want, okay? But if you're not used to training that muscle every day, training your focus muscle every day, that anchor, it's not gonna work right away. It's like you, someone's gonna attack, like verbally attack you, whatever, physically attack you, whatever. And you, you, like as long as you try, you'll be good. But at first, like even trying, it, it, it's not gonna work right away. It takes practice. So like every time, every time someone comes comes at you, uh, mentally or whatever focus on the anchor okay try to as long as you can and then react and then the next time it happens you focus on the anchor as long as you can and then react and eventually you'll be calmer a lot longer like sometimes you'll get into fights or arguments or whatever where you have to remain focused on the anchor the, throughout the whole thing remain focusing on that calm feeling throughout the whole thing or or it gets gets bad and like there's a breaking point there's always a breaking point like even if you're like a master at focusing on your anchor there's always a breaking point and when you hit that breaking point you gotta just let life happen but but you can extend that breaking point longer and longer to the point where like most arguments don't last that long like you can you can have an anchor that works two hours that, that you can focus on for like two hours straight and then that's your breaking point if it keeps going on for two hours it's your breaking point like but the more you focus the more that anchor works it's it's just it's the way it's supposed to go all right so to finish this up i want to talk about this last thing which which in my mind is such an important thing for mental strength and it's it's a mindset the mindset is if you are still alive you are successful see the reason why you get worked up over certain things or whatever is because your mind is trying to protect you because it doesn't want you to die okay but if you can remind yourself that you are alive that you're fine that nothing bad's going to happen you're not getting eaten by a tiger you're not getting attacked by wildlife you're not you're in an okay place if you can remind yourself to be that way at all times eventually you will be mentally strong because you realize i'm still alive i'm still alive See, the number one thing that we are, that every fear takes you to is the fear of death. 
every fear is is deep down the fear of death and if you can remind yourself that you are still alive that you you got into a car accident but you are still alive like you death is failure if you think about it death is failure like that is what you are truly scared of you are scared of dying and what happens after you die so if you're alive you are still successful so work out those mental muscles thank you have a good one red guru